In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica. Welcome to the Mass here at the Minor Basilica. Kayo mga nanonood sa live streaming. Let us begin our celebration by first cause, pausing for a while. Let us call to mind all our sins and failures. Let us ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all this put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts. The peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let everything that breath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Pra praise him for his sovereign majesty. Let everything that breath praise the Lord. Praise Him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise Him with lyre and harp. Praise Him in timbre and dance. Praise Him with the strength and pipe. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, 
do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you, for if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do the good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and let lend expecting nothing back, then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give gifts, and gifts will be given to you. Good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary. Hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin tao dito sa aming simbahan, so kayo lang na mga nasa online ang aming nakakausap. Napakaganda ng pinag-uusapan natin sa gospel ngayon tungkol sa pagmamahal. Laging kumbaga, kumbaga sa Facebook o sa man na social media, viral, laging viral kapag pagmamahal ang pinag-uusapan. Dahil lahat ng tao interesado sa pagmamahal, kahit pa paano siguro, lahat ng tao nakaramdam na ng pagmamahal. Yung iba, maaaring hindi nila ma-articulate, no? maaaring hindi nila ma-identify, ang oh, pagmamahal nga yun. But they have experienced love one way or the other. If not from people, at least from God. Diba? Na talagang merong, mer- meron at meron tayong experiences ng pagmamahal. Kaya lang naisip, naisip ko lang, habang pinag-isipan ko itong gospel natin, naisip ko lang, when we say, I love some, somebody or something, when we say, I love someone, most of the time, don't you think, di ba kayo mag sa akin? Most of the time, we love because of ourselves. We love mostly because of ourselves. We love because, halimbawa, we love our friends. Why? Because they are good to us. They're fun to be with. They make us happy. They make us joyful. Friends. We love our parents. Why? Because they feed us. They take care of us. They give life to us. They care for us. They protect us. They put food on our on the table for us to eat. So it's all for us, no? Madalas. Hindi naman natin siguro sinasadya yun. Parang human nature na yun, no? Dahil siguro animals din tayo, para ding aso, no? Siyempre, mamahalin ng aso kung sino yung nagpapakain sa kanya. Kahit nga magnanakaw, mamahalin ng aso. Basta, basta bibigyan mo ng masarap na pagkain, ano? So, may, most, most of the time, we love because they serve us. It's for our purpose, for our benefit. No? Tayo ang nakikinabang. We love our pets, even. <clears throat> Mga alaga natin because... They are loyal to us. Kaya minsan, mahirap na mag-alaga ng pusa. Kasi pusa, suplado. Generally, no? parang suplado. Parang kailangan mo talagang amuing mabuti bago, ka, bago siya maging loyal sa iyo. So, we love mostly for our own benefit. Kaya nga dito sa gospel na binasa natin, ang sinasabi ay itong pusa, genuine love. Yung mas, mat, mas I guess, pwede natin masabi, mas mataas na love. Bakit? Kasi ito yung love na hindi just for ourselves, but love for the sake of others. Siya ang, siya ang iniintindi natin. Yung minamahal natin, ang siya natin inaalala. Minamahal natin yung tao na yan dahil sa kanya, hindi dahil sa atin. Para sa kanya, 
hindi para sa atin. Kaya nung, nung dito sa gospel, nung ginawang specific ni Jesus, yung kanyang gustong ituro sa atin, nagiging more and more, nagiging weird, nagiging parang napakahirap gawin. Bakit? Let us give some examples. Unang-una sabi niya, love your enemies. Ay, naku, mari. madalas na natin ito naririnig, pero madalas din siguro, pasok sa isang tenga, labas sa isang tenga, ano? Kasi napakahirap gawin. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Sino bang tao in his proper mind, no? na practical lang, na you know, natural lang, eh, magmamahal ng taong nananakit sa kanya. Kahit sino, lalayo sa taong nananakit sa kanya. The least that you can do is, ano, is protect yourself and yourself and, and uh, move away from people who might hurt you. So, hindi mo siya napakahirap mahalin, no? At yun, pero yun ang kinokaman sa atin ng Diyos. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Napakadadali naman natin Napakahilig natin naman mag-judge ng mga tao, di ba? Be merciful, just as your Father is, is merciful. And mercy ng Father, you know, is not dependent on Himself, no? But it's always dependent on the other person. So ano yung kailangan niya, yun ang ibibigay. Kaya nga sa pagdarasal natin, di ba? Sinasabi na lagi, natin yan palagi. Sa pagdarasal natin, hindi lahat tinatanggap natin. Not because God doesn't hear, or God doesn't want to give it to us, or is being selfish, no. Minsan, hindi, hindi binibigay sa atin yung dinadasal natin kasi hindi makakabuti sa atin. The mercy of God tells Him not to give, or makes Him decide not to give us what we're asking for. To forgive, and you will be forgiven. Hirap din yun, alam natin yun. Mahirap magpatawad. To do to others what you would have them do to you. Kasi yung bago, bago mo pa matanggap yung kabutihan from other people, ikaw muna magbigay. Magbigay ka para hoping na matatanggap mo din kung ano yung, ano yung binig, anong kabutihan ang ibinigay mo sa ibang tao. Give gifts and gifts will be given to you. Give and you will receive. So don't worry about, you know, Pero hindi ka magbibigay para magbigay yung iba sa'yo, di ba? Ano yun? Hindi masyadong tama yung interpretation niya. This is give gifts, period. And maybe you will receive gifts as well in the future. So, in, all in all, bottom line, sinasabi, and true love is love for the, love for the sake of the other. Love is true love, genuine, when it is for the sake of the other. Ganun yung pagmamahal ng Diyos, di ba? Hindi yung sarili niyang iniisip, kundi yung minamahal. Yung taong makasalanan, yung may ketong, yung possessed by the devil. Yung tax collector na, na nagsisisi. Yung minamahal niya. Not for himself, but for the sake of the other. Kaya nga, when Jesus tells us to kaya nga uh, kinomand sa atin, ito ni Jesus, no? sinabi sa atin, ito gawin ninyo, love your enemies, stop judging, be merciful, and so on. Ginawa niyong parang command, no? inuutos niya sa atin. Bakit? Kasi nga hindi natural eh. Hindi natural sa atin. So totoo yun. Hindi tayo kailangan magtaka that we have to exert effort to be able to follow these instructions. They don't come naturally. They don't come naturally. Hindi siya parang hininga na kahit hindi ka mag-exert ng effort, eh, natural na dumarating yan. Hindi ganun. We have to exert effort because it goes against the grain. Mas natural sa atin yung ma- magmahal ng isang tao, ng isang bagay, because they, they have benefit to us. No? Be- dahil merong beneficyo para sa atin. But God loves differently. God, God loves only for the sake of others. Yung tunay na pagmamahal, katulad ng pagmamahal ng Diyos, ay talagang para doon lang sa taong minamahal. Kung mayroong beneficyo for us in the future, well, that's a, that's a bonus. Bonus yun. Pero ang unang-unang preoccupation, unang-unang um, uh, value, goal natin, is to love 
for the sake of others, to make that other person happy, to make that other person joyful, to make that other person at peace, to serve the needs of that person, to care and protect that person. Hindi naman siguro unfair na hingin sa atin ng Diyos yan. Bakit? Yung nauna niyang ginawa eh, siya yung nauna na gumawa tayo, sumusunod lang. So tama lang na sumud- sumunod tayo sa Kanya. Kasi, sabi niya, di ba? Be holy as the Father is holy. As Christians, we follow the way and the life of Jesus. And Jesus loved not for his sake, but for others. God the Father loves not for his sake, but for the other, for us. And so should we. So should we. Let us all stand hope oh, lap lang tao. So let us now proceed to our intercessions, our prayers of the faithful. We now pray to God, turn to God, the Father, for the help that we need to follow the example of Jesus who tells us that we are to love our enemies. After each petition, we say, God who is love, empower us. God who is love, empower us. That the leaders of the church may give witness to their people in the ways of pardon, love, and forgiveness, and so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. God who is love, empower us. That those who are angry and bitter with their neighbors may realize that giving into feelings of resentment and hatred only separates them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. God who is love, empower us. That family who are divided and torn apart because of indifference toward one another may restore their former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord. God who is love, empower us. That the sick may attend the peace of mind which grows from appreciating their special rule in joining Christ in His suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. God who is love, empower us. That the dead may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God who is love, empower us. Very special way, let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. For the sick, those who are sick in any way from COVID-19 or from any other sickness, we pray for peace and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, you know what is good for us. Rid our hearts of all bitterness and bless our efforts to love all people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. May dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us.
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed O and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, mercy have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, that I, be, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire that receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacraments, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. On, on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at Online Pamisa, where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the Electronic Sovereigner Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Lagi po tayong magpatuloy na magdasal para sa isa't isa, lalo na sa ating safety, sa ating kalusugan against this virus. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.